Hi, welcome everyone. This is Asaba, the Delta State Capital. We are currently driving along Nebisi Road. Asaba has changed a lot. In front of us is the Stephen Keshi Stadium. Join us as we'll be visiting the theme park and Nollywood Film Village that will be launched this year, 2022. This is the main entrance to the theme park and of course, the Nollywood Film Village that is part of the complex. As you are aware, there is a huge presence of the movers and shakers in the Nigerian film industry in Asaba. Many actors and producers in Nollywood actually reside in Asaba. Or you can say that they have a second home here. These actors don't live in one place, you know. <laughs> This looks like a second entrance to the theme park because there's a gatehouse here. Let's take a look inside. Good, it's looking nice with beautiful array of buildings. The question now is will they install Nigeria's first mega roller coaster? If they do that, it will seriously boost tourism in Asaba. Many people, not just from around Asaba and environs or even Onisha, but Nigeria at large, will come here just to take a roller coaster ride. It's that popular. And they wouldn't be able to do all that in one day, you know. They might need to stay in a hotel. They will also need to move around town with a taxi or car hire, you know. So think of all the multiplier effects on the economy of Asaba. Huge amusement parks and recreation centers drive tourism. And since the private sector don't seem to be investing in them, the government should do that so that more jobs can be created. Before you say the cost of building a huge theme park with a mega roller coaster is high and prohibitive for the government to undertake, know that there are certain investments that are made just for the effect it will have on the economy. The major considerations on these kind of investments are not the return on investment or how long it will take to recoup the capital. Rather, it is the multiplier effect on the economy that a theme park and in general tourism brings that matters. On the film project, it is a good thing to have since we don't have giant studios and huge movie producers like in Hollywood. If there is a place where people in the Nollywood industry can pull resources together, it will definitely help them to push better content. And the more you have good content, the more audience will be drawn to the movies being produced in Nollywood, which will lead to more money being made by producers, actors and all talents that work in the industry. It will also lead to a higher demand for fiction writers and in general more jobs will be created. So we'll keep an eye on this project when it's completed in the next few months. We'll keep you updated as usual. For those who haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can subscribe now and enable notification. Thanks. A little more of Asaba, which has changed a lot over the last few years, just like this beautiful estate full of mansions adjacent the airport. As you can see, there are many of them and they all look new. There is a serious property boom in Asaba right now. Before we see inside the estate, let's see the interchange being constructed at Ibuzo Road Junction along the Asaba Benin Expressway. It's good that they are building this interchange in order to reduce traffic. 
they should also consider reconstructing and beautifying the whole stretch of the expressway from Asaba Airport to the Niger Bridge. They can make it a 10 lane highway with service lanes for public vehicles. The Asaba Benin Expressway is a federal highway, but the Delta State Government can make a deal with the federal government like Anambra State Government did along Onisha Metropolis and Oka. They can reconstruct them to look more beautiful. This will definitely beautify Asaba, you know. When you are passing through Asaba, it should look better than this. Alright, right now we are inside the estate. What is actually driving the property boom in Asaba? Is it Nollywood that is driving the real estate boom? Or is Asaba coming of age as the capital of oil-rich Delta State? It looks like it's a combination of the two because the state government is still the biggest spender, you know. When critical infrastructure are built in a city, they drive private investments. Take this estate for instance, it's more likely that people will buy homes or land around here because of the paved road unlike the unpaved areas. No one wants to live in a dusty street anyway. <laughs> Alright, enjoy the amazing mansions in this estate and in case you haven't subscribed to our channel, you can subscribe now and enable notification. Thanks. Function, mm, just trying to fill a void. 